Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up seven Unbroken Bonds Pokemon Booster Packs. This is the first official Unbroken Bonds opening that I'm doing on my channel. I did do a pre-release video. Definitely take a look at that if you have not already. Unbroken Bonds will not be released until May 3rd of 2019. It is a massive set overall with 214 total cards, and it does continue the introduction of Tag Team GX into the TCG. Now, the way that I obtained these packs was by going to the pre-release tournament at the Dork Den. There were some extra packs left over after the event, so I was able to purchase those. So here's a little bit different look at these seven booster packs that I'll be opening up. My most wanted card, at least right now, from this set would be the Charizard and Reshiram GX, the tag team. Would love to pull the Full Art or the Rainbow Rare. It is one valuable card. Charizard, of course, is my favorite Pokemon of all time. Started off here with a Gardevoir and Sylveon cover artwork design pack. Just hoping for at least one Ultra Rare. Have not pulled an Ultra Rare from any of my openings so far. In that pre-release video, I opened a pre-release kit and then three booster packs at the end of it. Right at the Dork Den there. First pack of the seven starts with Litten, Sandshrew, Murkrow, Oddish, Mischievous, Darkness type energy, Charger Bug, Chip Chip Ice Axe, Samson Oak, Reverse Hollow of a Caterpie, just a common. And the final card looks to be a rare hollow. It would be a Volcanion. Now, this is the pre release promo that I used at that pre release tournament. I actually went 4 and 0 overall. Volcanion quickly accelerates Fire Energy into play, especially if you're going second, turn 1. Charizard Reshiram cover artwork design pack now. I know a few of my friends purchased some of the extra booster packs as well. Did not pull much. I believe there's still a secret rare to pull from the box. Maybe another full art. Porygon starts the second pack. Froakie. Aeron. Seal. Bellsprout. Fairy type energy. Graveler. Hitmontop. Shadot. Reverse Hollow of a Malamar, which is a rare, and the final card would be a Quagsire. I will be having several Unbroken Bonds giveaways when the set is officially released. I have pre-ordered all of the Blister Packs, the Elite Trainer Box, as well as a couple of Booster Boxes to open up, hoping to get them a little bit before the official release date. This pack starts with Growlithe, Ghastly, Togepi, Pikachu, Murkrow, Metal-type Energy, Fairy Charm, Poliwhirl, Devolution Spray Z, Reverse Hollow of a Zubat, just a common, and the final card would be a Meow Stick. Now I also will be opening up a pre-release kit. I bought a couple of those from the Dork Den as well. Pull rates usually aren't the best in those. Another green colored code card, and there are not any Prism Star cards in this expansion. First time in quite a few sets, that has been the case. Goldeen starts this one. Darumaka. Sandile. Salandit. Coughing. Grass type energy. Porygon 2. Martial Arts Dojo. Fairy Charm. Reverse Solo of a Tentacruel. This would be an uncommon. And the final card would be a Raichu. I would certainly evolve Pikachu into Raichu as quickly as possible if I had a Pikachu, but I actually prefer Eevee over Pikachu. I would definitely purchase Eevee over Pikachu for the Let's Play games. Two packs left to go after this one. This pack starts with Tentacool, Aeron, Sandshrew, Ghastly, Tangela, Fighting Type Energy, Samson Oak, Porygon 2, Dodrio, Reverse Hollow of an Alolan Diglett, just a common, and the final card would be a Lickalicky. Hoping for one more good pull from these final two packs, otherwise this is a well below average video. Won't happen here, green colored code card. The pack starts with Litten, Froakie, Crabrawler, 
Oddish, Squirtle, Water Type Energy, Chip Chip Ice Axe, Samson Oak, Janine, Reverse Solo, of an Ultra Forest, Carnivoy, which is an uncommon, and the final card would be a Sharpedo. Down to the last pack, hoping for a white colored code card, Lucario and Melmetal on the cover artwork design. Looks to be a green colored code, so pretty poor pulls overall. Hopefully that means the remaining six packs that I have to open up from the booster box where these packs came from has above average pulls. Carvana starts the final pack. Litten, Clefairy, Seal, Gligar, Lightning Type Energy, Cleffa. Now this is the first set since the Heart Gold Soul Silver series of sets to include Baby Evolution Pokemon. Giovanni's Exile, Reverse Solo after this Graveler would be an Atkins, just a common. And the final card would be an Alolan Doug Trio. So only two cards to summarize from these seven packs. Hopefully this is not a trend from Unbroken Bonds for me. Pretty poor pulls in all of the packs that I've opened up so far. So the two good cards, the Reverse Hollow of Malamar, and then the Rare Hollow of Vulcanian. So that will conclude this video. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.